in the series The Physics of the Scythe, this video will cover the setting of the blade. And this <coughs> setting of the blade is the most important part for a good performance next to the sharpening. When we are swinging the blade over the ground, it will act in three dimensions. We will have to set all these three dimensions for a good performance of the blade. And uh, in this video I will cover all three of these dimensions and its settings. And for each of them I will also mention three issues. One, what to set the blade for. And two, why to set the blade. And three, how to set it. We should not confuse these issues. They are quite different. So let's go to these dimensions and its settings. The first setting is the balance angle. And this is hardly named at all, probably because it's so obvious. But someone has called it the balance angle and I think it's a rather usable name because when we are swinging the blade and it's running over the ground we will actually adjust the blade with our wrists trying to keep it in position. So, one, what are we setting here? We are setting <coughs> the blade's length position in relation to the ground. It should be parallel to the ground, not pointing downwards or upwards. Two, why are we setting this angle? Well, it's quite obvious that if it's pointing downwards, we will cut the, the, the ground, dig it into the ground. And if it's pointing upwards, we will cut the air <coughs> or we will cut the grass in different heights where the base of the blade will cut lower and the tip of the blade will cut higher. And that's not desirable. So, three, how do we set this angle? <clears throat> well, we are, if we are having a snarth like this one, <clears throat> we will simply change the position of the handles. If I'm moving it towards me, the blade will point downwards. If I'm moving it the other way, it will point upwards. So I'm just finding the right position here and fixate the blade, uh, the handle in that position. That's as simple as it is. And these adjustable handles, uh, snaths with adjustable handles, is very useful actually. Well, if you don't have those, if you have uh, one of those many snaths with fixed handles or fixed in, in two dimensions, then you will have to change the blade itself. You have to tweak the blade and you will have to tweak the tang. The tang is the crooked part that fits to the snarth here. You will have to <coughs> heat this metal, the neck part, and you will until it's glowing and you, then you can bend it. But you will have to do that in the workshop. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Tweaking the blade in the workshop. The first thing you do is to put the blade in a vise. So you have it secured in position. The next thing is to heat it up 
until it's glowing red. Be careful not to heat the blade, only the neck and the tank, because uh, the blade can be deformed if it's overheated. is this you can adjust it with a big wrench by tweaking it this is the direction for the balance angle adjusting and this will be the direction for the lay angle when you are finished you may cool it down in water if you want it will harden the blade but it's not absolutely necessary. The second setting, the lay angle. The lay angle is the <coughs> blade's uh, position in this dimension. So, one, what are we setting? Well, we are setting the blade's uh, position in relation to ground, or the edge rise over the ground, so to speak. Two, why are we setting this? Well, we have actually different uses of the scythe, and there will be different settings for them. So I will cover four. four settings here. First, the zero degree setting. We are uh, setting the edge and the blade, blade's uh, relation to the ground to zero degrees. And the why and the because is that we are want to cut very short. And that's the only thing. And that's only applicable if we have a lawn that is an area that is very well maintained with no uh, stones or other obstacles and that is very flat and that has been mowed before. Second setting is 10 degrees. 10 degrees above the ground, slightly over the ground. And the reason is just to avoid obstacles and to protect the edge from uh, hitting obstacles on the ground. This is the most common setting, which you, you, you will use in most uh, all the uses on the scythe. When cutting hay, when cutting grasses, when uh, trimming in the garden, and so on, and so on. This is the most, absolutely most common. The others are rare exceptions. But the third uh, situation is when we are setting it to 20 degrees about. And that is when we are cutting reed, when we are cutting corn, or things, grasses that are very sturdy, stand up and are quite thick. Then we can reduce the resistance when we are swinging. So it's easier to cut them when we are cutting them in a higher angle, if we want that, at the price of not cutting so short, of course. And the last one is when we are cutting three saplings. Then we are setting it to 30 to 40 degrees, actually. And that is because we want to cut very easily. We want to cut it in an angle and not cross-cutting. Cross-cutting is very uh, difficult and, and uh, 
requiring very high forces. It's uh, much easier to cut it in, a, in an angle, so it, we are setting it to 30, 40 degrees in this situation. And it's only because it's easier. We won't be able to cut as short, of course. So that's the four different uh, answers on the why questions. The how questions. Three, the how questions. How are we setting this angle? Well, we are setting it as this, uh, in, in the same manner as we did with the balance angle, but we are tweaking the blade in um, the workshop in the, the other direction, of course, in the other dimension, of course. We could actually, temporarily, if we want to, put some wedges or washers be below, uh, between the tang and the snarf, but that's uh, not what I recommend because they are usually very, they, they are not so permanent. I strongly recommend you to do this once and for all and to different blades in, in, by tweaking the blade. You should also be aware about the fact that um, it's very dependent on how you are holding the the snarf and the blade. If you are cutting very close to your body, the angle will be very high. The layer angle will be very high at the same setting. When we are cutting, when we are having a low position like this, we will get a very low angle with the same setting. So the setting is very reliable on the use of the snarf and the scythe. The third setting, third and last, is the cutting depth. You will probably never heard of it because uh, the tradition has not understood this setting either, as well as the other, other settings. Generally it's referred as the hafting angle. Haft means snarf, handle, and uh, hafting angle means the, the blade's angle towards the snarf. And that is what we are setting in all these uh, setting, but it's not what we are setting, it's how we are setting it. So, the tra traditional, uh, traditional setting of the hafting angle is to set it towards the wall and make a mark for the base of the blade and that, then uh, turn it to the tip and they should be at the same point approximately or, or, or different slightly. Well, this setting is just uh, some uh, mumbo jumbo. It can end up in any setting uh, any setting because it's dependent on the length of the blade the user the how the user using the snarf uh, different handle positions and so on and so on so you will, this is simply not what you are setting don't use this rule it's a second hand rule used for general principles and it doesn't work you can't do that. So, one, what are we setting? We are setting the cutting depth, and the cutting depth is the blade's relation to the swing circle on the ground. Think of it as uh, when we're swinging, we are the base, the beard of the blade drawing a circle here, and the tip of the blade drawing a circle. The distance between those circles, that's the cutting depth. And what we are setting here is actually uh, the amount of grasses that we, that we are going to cut, the area 
that we are going to cut. That's the what. Two, why are we setting the cutting a, a depth? Well, we are setting it because you, <laughs> you would believe that we want to, to cut as much as possible in, in one stroke, setting it as high as possible. But high means high setting means more resistance and low setting means lower resistance. So you have to find a balance point there. Uh, and every field has its own own sweet spot really. So you have to adjust it for the situation. In some very uh, low density fields you can set it very high and in some very difficult cut areas you will set it very low. Three. How are we setting this angle? Well it's quite easy. This is the easiest way to set it. At least if you have a, a two bolt system like a, mine. Here you just uh, change it like this and adjust it. But how do I know uh, how much I want to set it to? Well, I will show you that in another camera setting. The first thing you are doing here is to place a ruler on the ground. And you are placing it so it's pointing towards um, the center of the swing circle. And that's approximately uh, right between your legs or feet. Now you are taking the snarf and the, the size the whole thing and uh, you are uh, placing yourself in the swing position as you will swing it and you're moving until the base of the blade is at zero on the roller at nil and from there you are simply moving the in the swing moving the blade backwards until it the, the tip crosses the ruler and now you can read here the cutting depth and that's how easy it is to set it I use 23 centimeters it should be between 20 and 25 generally uh, in my use in my surroundings but if you are cutting something that is very much uh, easier to cut, you can of course have a higher setting. Another interesting thing with this cutting depth dimension is that it is the same for any length of the blade. So it doesn't matter how long the blade is. A shorter blade can have a st uh, the same position. It will then have steeper cutting angle. But that doesn't matter because the cutting angle can be between 15 and 40 degrees and will not make uh, very much of a difference really. So you just have to focus on the cutting depth. Set it to 23 and you will find it's, it's uh, accurate. You can adjust it to, to what you think is fine. But in this way you can return to the same position every time with every scythe blade you have in a very easy manner. 